Hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I am your host, Not So Average Joe, and in the last episode we got two treasure keys, and in this episode we are going to get the final treasure key and hopefully take on Mugshot himself. Uh, so going over here on this G and climbing up here, it leads you to the last level there is, which is Alley Back Alleyway Heist, something like that. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the audio in the last episode. It was kind of loud. Audacity does that to me sometimes. I have no idea why. But back alley heist. This is the final lever there is, and we're breaking stuff. Windows. Alright, so, yeah. This is kind of a... Oh my good lord. Kind of a 2D type deal. Kind of a Mario-esque thing. Maybe. Not really, but like, you know what I mean. Kind of like a... 2D platformer type deal here. Except it's not too. You all know what I mean. Alright, so anyway, uh, getting the saves here, um, or the clues rather, uh, don't, aren't, isn't really that big of a deal either. It's a pretty easy level. Oh my god, that is mugshot. Uh, be sure to go to the left when you jump up here first because there are clues. And that is a. Oh my god, that is a dog. Oh, what? How did you. Get out of my face. That, you all saw that. He didn't hit me. That was gay. That was very, oh my god. Yeah, you're not gaying me up. Alright, so... We're going up neon lights. No, that was just a place where the clues were. Alright, so moving on then. Hold on, let me adjust my microphone real fast. Oh, that is a lit... Oh god. Let me just adjust my mic. Alright, testing, testing. Everyone can hear me. Alright, that's a little better. And I kind of screwed myself because the alarm turned on now. Shut up! Alright. <sighs> Sorry, my headphone with my headphone, my mic wasn't really in the good spot right there, so I had to change it. Anyway, moving along, uh, you can break the heads off these. Oh my lord, god. Okay, whatever. Um, going down here, there's actually no point in doing this because there's nothing but things you can break down here. Oh, but there's a, there is a horseshoe. You may want that. But other than that, there's no clues or anything, so this is pretty much useless to you. Alright, so moving on, uh, going back up here then. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh, I have to go around again, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay. No biggie, no biggie. So let's just continue on our merry way. Alright, let's just... Alright, there. Can you all hear me now? Alright, that's better. That should be better anyway. It better be better. Alright. So, destroying that. Let's destroy all these guards just to make sure we didn't miss anything over in these areas. Uh, missing anything? No. That did nothing. Wonderful. So, 15 clues all together so far, so yeah. Let's just move on then. For this one, you have to press O to be all stealthy when the searchlights come. Alright, there we go. That's good, that's good. And for this one, you just want to hide behind the domino things when the searchlight comes by. Hey, is that Sly Cooper, like, all angry on here, or is that Mugshots? I don't know. I don't know who it is. Oh, that's an alarm. Upside down. Sweet. Anyway, there's a bunch of clues you can get right here. Let's go ahead and get as many as we can. Om nom 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 nom. Clues. Oh, that's a pit. That is a pit. Yeah, pits are not good for you. Pits are not good for you. Oh, but about that water safety that we got in the last episode... That is very useful, especially in the next area that we're going to after Mugshot's area. Uh, water invulnerability is very useful. Oh, I missed one. No, no, I have to die now. No, die. Someone kill me. Someone kill me. I missed a, I missed a clue. I want you to kill me, please. Thank you. <laughs> he hit himself. Alright, back to where we were. Oh my god. Oh, I got it. Thank god. I did not want to do that again. Oh, Jesus, man. Good thing I had a horseshoe on. I'm trying to cheap a brother out like that. How dare you? Now you're dead. 
Alright, so, oh my god, there's another guy. Out of my face. Get some more clues. Because clues are good for you. I have an odd number, and you guys know how I feel about odd numbers with clues. Alright, that's two. And the safe is right there, meaning I missed one. Oh, no, never mind. It's right here. Thank god. I did not want to do that again. What the heck happened? Alright, and now that we're... Oh, wait a minute. I still have to get that one... Oh my god. Alright, just... Oh, I had to hold O. That's what it was. I wasn't holding O when I did that. Let me just shimmy back across then. Alright, and back at the safe then. Let's just enter the code. Enter the vault code. Give me the code, Bentley. I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is 565. Five. Alright, 5... 6... 5... Haha, <laughs> glitched it out. Alright, so let's do it. What do we got in- uh, excuse me, what do we got in here? Aha! Uh -huh. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's Thief Replica Technique! Ah! He can make fake standoffs of himself to confuse guards into attacking the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Alright, so this one could prove to be very useful sometimes, but uh, I don't find myself using it that much. Uh, decoy, I will show that off when I get the chance. It's mostly used against guards that have uh, flashlights and all that, that will attack you if they see you. So that's what decoy is mostly used for. I will show it off in a bit. But for now, we get our final treasure key. Alright, perfect. Alright, so let's go over here real fast and demonstrate the decoy move. Alright, as you can see, there's no way to get past this guy, and you don't want to go through the trouble of going all the way around and sneaking by. You can just throw out a decoy like so, and he shoots the decoy. And then while he's over there taunting, hit him, and that's how the decoy works. It can be very, very useful. So, yeah. That's all that does. Oh, and now that we have all seven treasure keys, we want to go over here to unlock the lever that brings, uh... Uh... What's his name? Oh, Mugshot's penthouse down. Or the elevator penthouse, that is. Alright, so hitting the switch uh, has his tongue come out and it summons the elevator. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. So let's move along then. And go face Mugshot himself. Let's do it! The last call. <laughs> what? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and... And this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick! Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked her block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know that Singus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Alright, so this is the fight with Mugshot. How this is going to work, you have to go around and hit all of these mirrors while avoiding him shooting at you with his machine guns. Alright, uh, to avoid the machine gun fire, just jump when he pulls his guns out, and it's pretty easy to dodge. Oh, you can't hit me, but after you get all the mirrors, it zaps him! And it overheats his gun. Yep, it overheats his guns, and he's going to go upstairs to get more. And apparently it zaps him in the process because that's the only way I'm you can do damage to him. Because as you can see, if you try to hit him up front, it just bounces off of him. But he does laugh. See, it tickles him. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Alright, that's all. That's enough. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, so this is probably the hardest uh, section that there is because the mirrors are just like all over the place and he's continuously firing at you. Alright, come on, let's do it. Just get the last of the mirrors over here. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it! 
Alright, so once you're done this stage, you're pretty much set because the third and final stage is probably the easiest out of all of them. Alright, basically if you are standing in front of a mirror and he shoots, the mirror blocks you. So you don't have to worry, but um, so just make sure you're in front of a mirror when he fires. Um, if the mirror is facing him and he fires at the mirror, it turns back around, so be wary of that. Also, um, what else is there? Um, I forgot what I was about to say. Uh, this is pretty easy. This is the easiest stage of them all. Just make sure you're behind a mirror when he fires and hit it. And you're set. That's the mugshot fight. And with this, he is done. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Ms. Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. All right, so our next area is right, Haiti. Haiti. Get us to Haiti. Oh. All right, and over here we get a little preview of what's mm. next, and Murray's playing video games on it. What's up, Murray? Mm. Well, screw you too. All right, so we are going to end it off here, guys. In the next episode, mm. we are going to go to Haiti. Oh. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, comment, subscribe, leave a like, and... I will see you guys next time.